Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. The sun is shining. It's going to be in the 40s today. Hopefully we'll get some of the snow melt off and things won't ice over. Um, today we are going to be working on making DIY scrunchies. These are awesome to make. They're easy, they're quick, they're a good scrap buster, and they're good for like scouts or young girls who want to learn how to sew. So here are some of my examples. Who would have thunk these would have been, came back in the style? I remember these when I was little. Was such a big thing. Any fabric will do to make them. So there's some of my examples. So let's get started. What you're going to need is some fabric. You are going to need a rotary cutter um, or a, a pair of scissors, um, something to cut on, and that's about it. Your sewing machine, some pins. So I'm going to use this fat quarter. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay out your fabric on the fold. Um, mine is a fat quarter, so I have a fold. Um, you're going to want to cut um, about an 18 long by 4 inches wide. So I'm going to cut 4 inches wide. Let's get my knife. If you don't have a rotary cutter, you can use just plain scissors. And the best thing about this is they don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be exact. Um, you can make them any size you want. So we're going to line it up and we're going to say 18 inches. You are also going to need elastic when you make these. So I have enough to make two here. So I'm going to cut down the line. Just like that. So I'm going to make two. So I have two 18 inches by four inches piece of fabric. And again, you can customize this, make them how big you want. You can make them more poofy. You can use 100% cotton. You can use um, fleece. You can use, I mean, what, the, it's, the, it's endless on what you can use. So I have this elastic I got at um, Amazon. And you're gonna wanna cut a seven, eight, seven inch piece of elastic. And again, you can make the elastic bigger or smaller depending on what you're going to use it for. Um, a lot of the kids that buy mine at the craft fairs, they just wear them on their wrist. And I have made these with smaller scraps. All right, so after you get that done, We are going to move to our sewing machine. All right, so now that we're at our sewing machine, boy, there's sun coming through that window. It feels really good. It's been a while since we've had some sunshine. Okay, so now you're gonna take your elastic and we are going to put it right in the middle here and you are gonna sew right here. I go back and forth about two or three times. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you're gonna sew it on the inside or the wrong side of the fabric about two or three times. And then you're gonna come down to this end and you're gonna sew the other end right here. So let's get that on. So 
So like I said, I sewed about two or three times just to make sure about a quarter inch in is fine. So we got the one side done. And then you're going to you're going to take it and you're going to pull it down to here and you're going to sew this end. We learned this trick a couple years ago and it is so much better than weeding through with the, with the elastic. It's kind of like a hack. All right, so now after you have that sewn together, let me cut off my my ends of my thread. Kittens are running around. So the next thing you are going to do is you are gonna fold the right side in on each other, just like this. And then you are going to sew with a quarter inch seam all the way down, but you are going to leave about three inches open. So let's get that done. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, perfectly lined up. Because once it's done, you're not going to be able to notice. Make sure you back stitch. Always want to back stitch. This would be great for a Girl Scout troop to make. Alrighty. So after you have that finished. You should end up with something that looks like this. Just like that. Now we are going to flip this through. and you are gonna, to the right side, out. I use a chopstick to push this through. Okie dokie, there we go. So now what you are going to do is you are going to take the ends the four inch ends. And we are going to put these together. And you're gonna put the right sides, the pattern sides together. Just like this. And then you're gonna sew a quarter of an inch seam going straight down. If you wanna double stitch on the do back and forth on your elastic again. That's perfectly fine. Anything to keep that elastic from unhooking. Make sure you back stitch when you start and when you finish. So I'm cutting off my ends. So when you're finished, you should have something that looks like this. Now we have an open spot here. 
And what we are going to do is we are just going to fold down just a little bit to make the rough edges go in. And then we are going to pin. Excuse my cat who's jumping in the window. So you're going to do this along the open end. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. So after you have it pinned like this, we're just gonna do a top stitch over the open end. I would get as close as you can to the edge. Making sure you pull out your pins as you go, because you don't wanna hit that with your needle. you want to cut off your ends of your thread so let's cut off the ends and voila you have a cute scrunchie now you can change up your thread to match the color of your fabric I didn't um, but there you go cute little scrunchie thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, please like it. Um, hope everybody has a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me. And hit that subscribe button. Thank you, everybody.